this? Why is this making me cry? <laughs> oh, this is really upside. Woo! No, oh, it's um, <laughs> <laughs> Right, get yourself together. This is beautiful. <laughs> so why am I crying? Stop it! Oh god, just give me a minute. Oh my days, an item has made me cry. <laughs> Woo! Sorry guys. Hello. I'm excited guys. Today is wizarding trunk day. <sighs> it's wizarding trunk day! Also, I found this in the bag. Justin, did you write me a love note? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a piece of my kids' homework. How did that go on the boxes? Hello Potter Puppets and welcome back to the channel. And if this is the first time you're seeing this face, welcome to the channel. If you love anything magical and fun, then this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe. Because also, massive thank you to the channel members. You guys are legends. So yes, as you know, you've seen the thumbnail, the title, and I have already said, today is all about the wizarding trunk. Now, I have two boxes, but this is gonna be done in two videos, okay? There is gonna be one today for you, and one Friday, 6 p.m. UK time. Videos are always 6 p.m. There's actually been a video every day this week. There is going to be a video every day this week. You look at things in this face all week. So anyway, I do believe this is a potions box. Look at them fancy potions on there. Look at them. Now I do get creative and do DIYs on the channel, guys, for those of you that don't know. And potions is something that I really want to start making again. Excuse me. So this has given me inspiration. Thank you, Wizard and Trunk. So yeah, I do believe this is the potions box. I am excited because we all love potions. Well, I do. I like delving and mixing potions and creating things. And yeah, magic is real. So we're going to say for now that this is the potions box, all right? The other box is rather large. Fridays will be good. The today's will be good. I'm telling you now, the wizarding trunk never fail to make me smile, right? While I'm talking about that, they never <laughs> fail to make me smile. These boxes do get gifted to me to review for you guys, but all opinions are 100% my own. And let me tell you something, because I have had people in the past say, are you going to pick them up? They give you them. No, 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 no. Let me just explain something. The Wizarding Trunk approached me to do this. I, <coughs> I would not have agreed to do this if I didn't like their items. Okay. And I do like their items. And also, whilst we're here talking about this stuff, if you like what you see and you would like to get your first, like, start a subscription with them, if you use the code POTTERPOPPIT10, you get 10% off your very first box. Or if you see something on their website shop, you get 10% off at checkout too if you use POTTERPOPPIT10 code, yes. Enough about that, I want to see what's in this box now. You ready? Oh, t-shirt. Right, we have a t-shirt. It's a very nice grey, and I can see the potion. That's all I can see written on it at the moment. I suppose if you take it out of the bag, Susie will know a bit more, won't we? ASMR. Wow. Okay, that's the, I like this grey. It is a very nice grey. It's like a charcoal grey, would you say charcoal grey? I do like this grey. It is very nice. So we have the Potion Masters Brewing Company established in 1978. Do you want to see the back? I bet you do. Oh, that is so cool. I really like that. So again, Potions Masters Brewing Company, bewitching, hang on, bewitching minds and ensnaring senses since 1978 and we've got cauldronage going on cauldronage is not it, it is a word now that's nice i like that now their t-shirts are good quality i will say that they're very soft and they're they're just a good quality what am i trying to say they're actually warm for a t-shirt not like overly warm or anything like that but they are quite warm but they're very good quality i do like their t-shirts and i do like this t-shirt it's very nice we have a pin oh Oh, bottled glory. Hang on. There's my... Why is everything sticking to me today? Everything loves me. So we have a bottled glory. Oh my days, that is a nice pin. It is a double pinned pin, and I do love this backing card as well. They all have the wizarding trunk as well on the back. That's a really nice pin, that. I do like that. I do love pins. I'm obsessed with pins. I have, like, a very unhealthy obsession 
with pin badges. Okay, so we have a brew it yourself potion kit. I do have a couple of these now and I keep saying that I need to do them and I'm gonna do short videos of me doing them and put them on socials. Socials, pot pop it, Facebook, Instagram. That's it, I think. Oh, there is Twitter, but I never go on there. I don't like Twitter. But yeah, I do still need to do them. So we're gonna have a potion making day, I think. Oh, that'd be a good video, actually. We'll have a potion making day and we'll do all the wizard and drunk potions, shall we? That would be probably better. But still follow me on socials, please. Love me. Uh, I can't open this. It's swelling serum. Cause it's enlargement on contact. Well, I don't need that. I definitely don't need that. Oh, it's that. I can't even get in the box. I can't get in. It's a very good box. It's really thick, which is good. I will say as well, now the Wizarding Trunk are American. Americ <laughs> Excuse me. The Wizarding Trunk are American. So obviously, and I'm UK. And I ha it's going to happen, like probably not to me or I don't know it could to me but I mean like it does happen like because it's just life but I've not received anything broken do you know what I mean they do package everything really really well um you watch <laughs> the box that you're gonna see Friday is gonna be a broken item but it is gonna happen every now and then do you know what I mean but I think it'd be a problem if you were receiving items and they were constantly broken all the time does that make sense but accidents happen and stuff, but it wouldn't be the wizarding trunk. It would be, well, we've got two different, hang on, just, right, let me just finish talking. Susie, do one thing at once, because you know you can't concentrate on two things at once. So yes, they package their items really well, and I'm very proud of the wizarding trunk anyway. You're doing an absolutely amazing and magical job with these boxes. I'm very proud of you. Dusted, I want a love note. I thought it was a love note. Right, I am very obsessed, hang on. With this let's look at this bottle i am absolutely obsessed with the shape of this bottle this is so nice i love that shape that is proper potion bottle that i like that now what else do we have we have some orange liquid i will not be drinking this though or become in contact with it because i don't want to be any bigger than i already am we have the shimmery stuff and it's green it's really shimmer oh there's balls in it as well can you see them mm, it's really cool hang on there's more. So you have your label for the front of the bottle. That's really bright, light. Calm down. There we go. So there's the label for the front of the bottle. Stop focusing on my face. Oh, and then we have the label of Pure Blood Apothecary to stick on the bottle. We have a spoon, spatula spoon, spatula spoon, spatula spoon. And we have a green wax for a wax seal. So on the box, guys, it says, please follow the provided instructions while completing <coughs> this brew it yourself potion kit. Ingredients included glass bottle, two labels, pickled boom slang liquid, puffer fish eyes, and metal stirring, stirring rod. It's a spatula spoon okay not included moon water i have plenty of that i'm not even joking so there we have a brewing kit i am actually going to do a separate video and we're going to make these potions from the wizarding trunk like all of them oh my days that would be such a fun video next to this box is catching my eye why is this boxing cat boxing box catching my eye because it's plain so the mystery is even more so of a mystery inside this mystery box because we have an extra mystery box, which is a complete mystery. Let's open this mystery box up and have a look. What is inside? More mystery inside the mystery box that was in this mystery box, which makes this more of a mystery. <gasps> that took a moment. <laughs> It took a moment. Look, you see what? I know actually it's very obvious. It took me a moment, all right? Bear with. Come on. Now, now, now. Work with me, thank you. Right, so we've got some scales, guys. We've got some scales. Let me put this thing together. Ah! One. These are fancy. I am liking these. I really like that set of scales. That is so nice. You can weigh your ingredients for your potions. That is really nice. Look at that. I'm really bad with materials. Is it a resin? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's good quality anyway. It is good quality. And these chain bits are not plastic. I just want to put putting that out there. It is not plastic. None of this is plastic. No, none of it is plastic. They are fancy. I really like the design of these. They would just be perfect to weigh my potion ingredients out. I ain't got room on my shelf. I need to make a new shelf. Oh my days. We're getting to a point where, because I've got really creative again as well, I've got no room for things. So expect a video in the near future of a new shelf or area or something 
Okay, we're gonna get creative. It's been a while since I've created a new area actually for things. I'm excited. Oh, this is really, oh, Potions Master Guidebook. That is nice. And there's the, there's the spine. Why is it called the spine? I have said this in a video before. I don't know what video, but I know I've said this in a video. It's not the spine, a spine is in your back. That's the back of the book. Why is that called the spine? Just say. So yeah, the Potions Master Guidebook. Obviously, just look at it. It's gorgeous. We've got some silver foiling on there. Sucker for it. So this is the back. This is the back. So this is the spine of the book now, okay? It's not a book, but we'll get onto that in a moment. So it says on the back, immerse yourself in the world of potion making with the Potion Master's Guidebook. Within these pages, you'll uncover the Potion Master's complete guide to advanced potion making, including a comprehensive collection of rewritten, refined and improved potion recipes, making it an essential companion for both novice and experienced potioneers alike. Whether you're brewing for personal empowerment or seeking to impress at your next wizarding gathering, this book will be your trusted source for mastering your craft and unlocking the true potential within your cauldron. I'm gonna guess what's in here. It's a box, right? Is it a puzzle? No, it's not. Oh, oh, look at the inside first off, look at that. That is nice. If you can hear a creak in, it's the bathroom door, the window's open, all right, and there's a bit of a breeze, and it can just keep creeping me out, all right. Stop it! What do we have in here, then? It's right, oh. Right, hang on, Suze, one thing at a time. We have got, this is lovely. We've got a, a notebook. Hang on, just, just bear with one minute. Okay, so we there's a fair amount of pages in this notebook, I will say, although I will never use it. Those of you that know me and my magical notebooks, they never get written in. They are for display purposes only, so I will never write on this, ever. And if you write in your magical notebooks, what is wrong with you? So yeah, we've got a really nice potion notebook here. I really like this. It's the same on every page. It's a really nice design. I really emphasised the nice there, didn't I? I like that, a nice green flame up there. Look at all this. All ingredients going into a potion and we've got some scales up there. I really like that notebook. Again, I won't write in it, it's for display purposes, all right? Oh yeah, and there was this as well, wasn't there? Oh, this is the inside. So it says at the, bo like, at the back, the Potions Master's Guidebook. The Potion Master's Guidebook, first edition, copyright 2023, Wizardry Workshop. The Wizarding Trunk, printed and bound by Pentacle Press. Oh, that's that's quite cool, it's Pentacle Press. Pentacle Press, Pentacle Press, I like saying that. Say it 50 times fast. Pentacle Press, Pentacle Press. No, don't, actually, I can see me saying something else. Right, what is in this? It's a Patronus. Ah, oh, do you know what? You can see. This will look nice on my Yule Ball shelf. And I think I'm gonna have to because of the colours. We've got a dough. Oh, I like that. Referring to Snape, this is a resin. This is resin. I don't know, I don't know. I, who am I kidding? I really don't know, but it's not plastic. I know it's not plastic. I think it's resin, but that is beautiful. That is really, and I need to do a light through it. Let's see it in all its magical glory. Let me get my phone torch on. It's so pretty, look at it. I like it. You can go up the, no, 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 we take photos before we put things down. Again, follow me on socials, you'll see nice photos of the Wizard and Trunks things, or my DIYs, or me. <laughs> if you wanna see a bit more of me, there might be an odd photo of me on there. Right, we've got the Copper Kettle in and Pub. Is this a key? No. Okay, this is to do with the tea set they are doing. Do I call it a tea set? Is it a tea set? Would you call it a tea set? So in the boxes, we get part of the set each time. And this time we have got these really nice hogshead spoons. So they do come in this lovely box, just so it's really nicely displayed. Oh, my daisies are gorgeous. So you've got this one. Focus on the spoon. Not on my face. Stop focusing on my face. Thank you. That is so nice. That is really nice. And then, oh, hang on. Oh, and if you can see there, look, there's a cauldron. That is so cool. Just imprinted in there. Imprinted. Is that the right choice of words? I don't even know. I don't even know. And then we have a larger spoon. They're really nice. 
I like them and I'm excited to put them with the, was it a creamer? I think it was a cre creamer, was it called a creamer? The, the pot with the hog's head on and it was to put milk in, wasn't it? Yeah, I am massively excited about this set, I will say. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing and I think it's something that I will have displayed in the kitchen when it's done. I do have some wizarding trunk items in the kitchen. You'll have to wait for that. We're doing a herbology kitchen and I've been doing it for a very long time now. <laughs> it will get done. It'll be worth it, I promise. I'm not promising you anything. Right, so we do have, we have another box that is a really nice box, but we're just going to put that aside for one moment. We have the Swelling Serum um that is so nice the watch call it the, the preparation of the swelling serum the ingredients utensils and instruments and instructions on there have a pause and a read if you wish to and then on the back it just carries it on there so have a pause and a read if you would like to but i am loving the artwork on that that is really really nice so we've got that to follow we do also have a gorgeous art print here two gorgeous art prints oh they're so nice so here we have potions classroom that is gorgeous the detail on that that everywhere you look there's something to look at if that makes sense i love anything like that it's it's a piece of art that you can look at for a long time and i do really like that this is gorgeous so this is a apothecary chart a quick reference to common components so armadillo bile hellebone dragon scales belladonna scarab beetle moon water boom slang skin pickled slugs giant spider venom and puffer fish eyes so they are a reference to common components that is a really nice piece of art as well though that i really want to frame that i really want a potion room now do you think matt would let me no i don't right we're going to open this box and then we're going to move on to the cheat sheet i'm excited to see what's inside this box it's giving me the goblet of fire mermaid mirror mirror mermaid window vibes even though it's not it also gives me vibes of like herbology what is this oh, oh. This, why is this making me cry <laughs> Stop it, Susie. Oh, get yourself together. Oh, this is really upside. Woo! Oh, it's um, <laughs> Right, get yourself together. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's a memory vial with final memories. Why am I crying? Stop it. Oh my God, just give me a minute. Oh my days, an item has made me cry. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, guys. Okay, so yeah. Final memories in a lovely memory vial. I'm going again. <laughs> Stop, Susie. Stop being silly. And the liquid inside, I don't know if you can tell, probably if I move my hand away, you'll be able to tell better. There is glitter in there. I think you can see it. It's hard to tell on this little screen. But that is gorgeous. I really like that. And it's really made me sad. Like... Not in a bad way. It's it's sad, but it's also really nice. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, right. I don't think the Wizard and Trunk have ever given me an item where I've cried in one of the boxes. Just a first for everything though, isn't there, I suppose. Right, Wizard Weekly Master Potions. So this was the Master Potion, Master of Potions box. So, number one, Potion Master's Silver Scales. This set of vintage silver scales are used by and sold exclusively to Potion Masters. Oh, Wizard and Trunk, you've given me so many job roles. Honestly, I am raking the galleons in, I'm telling you. Thank you. Two, Brew It Yourself Potions Kit. Welcome to Potions Class students. All materials are provided in this potions kit to brew the swelling serum. If another student happens to throw a firecracker into your potion while brewing, you may need the recipe for the shriveling solution on page 47. Be sure to keep you, your included metal stirring rod for any future Brew It Yourself potions, all included ingredients are cosmetic grade and skin safe 
Then we had the Potions Master Guidebook. This book box is the perfect place to store all of your potion recipe pages from the Potion Master's Guidebook or even some of your rarer potion making ingredients that you students may be trying to steal. Number four, the Potions Master's Notepad. This double-sided notepad can be used to write down new potion recipes or revise some of the classics. Number five, Vial of the Past. These exclusive hand-blown vials will take you back to some very insightful and unexpected memories. Right, pull yourself together, Susie. Whew, that vial's really got to you. Oh my days. Number six, Potion Master's Brewing Company shirt. This magically soft shirt is given to those that visit the Potion Master's Brewing Company. Number seven, the apothecary chart. This apothecary chart adorns the wall in Potion Master's study. And number eight, the dough. This dough stands as a reminder to, to love always. Oh my God, <laughs> Susie. Right, before I unbox this other one for Friday's video, I think I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Wizardy drag, what are you doing to me? Right, just ignore the face for the rest of the video. <laughs> Number nine, the fame, glory, or death pin. You will you will have received one of the three pin variations. Oh, I'm excited to see the other ones. Number 10, the swelling serum recipe. The page, this page will give you detailed instructions for brewing your swelling serum right out of the Potion Master's Guidebook, a recipe by the Wizard in Trunk. Number 11, the copper kettle sugar and teaspoons. These sugar and teaspoons will help you master your morning potions, even if they are just tea and coffee. Oh no, it's a potion, trust me. These food safe zinc alloy spoons are dishwasher safe, but hand wash recommended. So you can use them. They're definitely going in the kitchen. I'm always a bit like, because you don't want to use them, do you know what I mean? But it states you can, and I don't have a dishwasher. I am the dishwasher, okay. Number 12, potion master study print. A look into the study of the potion master. How many items from this box can you find inside and then oh editor's choice editor's choice oh editor's choice we have got the potter addict there what does it say oh youtube so at the dot potter dot addict there you go they're on youtube potter addict and next by monthly theme which is the one that I've got sat in front of me, which you will see Friday, is Good Versus Evil, which I'm very excited about. Woo! Right, I need a cup of tea. I need a cup of tea before I move on to this next box, though. But yeah, what was your favourite item in the box? For me, I'm going to have to say it's the vial. Um, oh, I don't know, actually, because I really liked the scales. The vial made me cry. Not in that makes it sound like I hate it. I don't hate it at all. It is such a beautiful vial. You know what, actually? It's between the vial and... Oh, that slipped down. <laughs> Sorry. It's between the vial and the scales. I really love both these items. The box as a whole was so fun to do. The spoons are lovely as well. I love the fact that you can brew your own potions. Instead of just giving a potion, you can get creative and make it yourself. Provided to you by the wizard in trunk and you can say you made it yourself. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's really, really cool. As a creative person, I do think that's a lovely idea in a subscription box. Again, use the code potterpoppit10 if you would like to get 10% off your first box or 10% off their website shop. They really do pack their boxes to the brim with magic. What was your favourite item? Did you like this box? The stupid camera had stopped recording, so I don't know where it was. Um, it only records 30 minutes at a time for some strange reason. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments of this box, what your favourite item was. Let the wizard in trunk know what you, you, what you think to it. Let us know. Um, I really enjoyed this box and you made me cry. You made me cry, Wizard in Trunk, but it was an amazing box once again. Thank you so, so much for joining me tonight, guys. You know I love your company, and to be quite honest, <laughs> the tears, I felt you here with me. I felt you here with me, so thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. But I am going to go and have a nice cup of tea, and then I'm going to get on to unboxing this, so I will be in the same clothes for Friday's video. But we do have a video tomorrow, and it's a DIY. And I'm excited to show you all. But I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Poppets.